Hello and welcome to your practice. I am Jamie and today I have a chair yoga practice for you, a sequence that includes mostly seated, but we will do a little bit of standing as well. What you will need is a sturdy chair, preferably with no arms, your water bottle close by, and if you're on the petite side, it's nice to bring the floor up to you. So if you have a couple of blocks or a couple of books that you can put under your feet, if your feet can't touch the ground, then you won't be able to push down into the ground. So ideally, we would like the knees to be at a 90 degree bend. And conversely, if you're on the really tall side, you would um, benefit by folding a blanket or sitting on a pillow, sit down on that to elevate your entire body so that you can lift up so that your feet, um, your knees can also be at 90. Otherwise, you might have to step your feet out a little bit to be comfortable. All right, sit up nice and tall, ground into your sit bones. Your gluteals are tight, pull in your navel, take a deep breath in, reach up, rise up. Exhale, bring your arms down and around, and then place the hands on the thighs, and let's roll the shoulders forward, up, back, and down to lift the heart, and get yourself up into a nice, tall, seated position. And then as you're ready, we're going to close down the eyes or take a slightly downward gaze just to let yourself start to soften and we'll take this journey within. Today's practice is all about having a sense of wonder and connecting movement to the wonder within this beautiful journey within this beautiful practice of yoga that helps us to connect mind, body, soul, and bringing ourselves really into our bodies because so much of the time we're off somewhere else. So as you're sitting there and you're getting comfortable and you're rooting down and lifting up and your eyes are closed, let's connect with the breath. Start to notice your breath. Notice the inhale, the lungs, lungs expanding. And as you exhale, the lungs knit together and your belly gets strong as you push that air out. And soften between your eyebrows. And really fine tune your breath, slowing it down, going deeper. That sense of wonder. If you like to add a mantra, Let's breathe in, inhale, I breathe in, awe, and on the exhale, breathing out, I release what I no longer need. So let's all together now, just silently or out loud after me, I breathe in, awe, and exhale, I release what no longer serves me, what I no longer need. I breathe in awe. I release what I no longer need. One more. I breathe in awe. I release what I no longer need. Now just breathe. And if it feels okay, bring both hands to your heart space. Bow your head in reverie to yourself for making it to practice today. Bringing a sense of wonder, a sense of joy, a sense of curiosity about how your body will feel today, before, during, and practice. And allowing your mind to take a break and allowing the body to lead and the mind to meld and to follow. One more deep breath in right here. Exhale, let it go. Flutter your eyes open, reach up, rise up, take a deep breath in and exhale it out. Just let your arms down. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach up, rise up. Let it go. <sighs> One more time. Inhale, reach up, rise up. Let it go. 
Oh, doesn't that feel good? Wiggle around a little bit, kind of renegotiate your sit, sitting posture, your seated posture. And we're going to start out today by warming up through the neck a little bit. So let's drop the uh, chin straight down to the neck, to the heart, to the chest. And then rise back up. Mm. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lower down that chin. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, rise back up. This time, exhale over to your right as you look right. Inhale to the center. Exhale over to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale over to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale over to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale left ear. Sorry, right ear, right shoulder. Inhale, rise up now, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale, rise up, right ear, right shoulder on the exhale. Inhale, rise up, exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale, rise back up, roll your shoulders. Forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. Reverse, back, up, forward and down, full range of motion, back, up, forward, and down, hands to the shoulders. Let's take some shoulder rolls, which are actually elbow circles, and I want you to go as big as you can today. Find space, find movement, find flexibility, reverse, big circles with those elbows. Find yourself being curious and being full of wonder. Can I go deeper? Instead of falling into my same patterns, can I ask a little more of my body today? Release, never going past your edge, but maybe just to it. Couple little uh, swirls here with the shoulders, and then we'll add a little bit of a twist. So reach up, rise up, big breath in. Exhale, twist around to your right, just tap down. Inhale, reach up, rise up. Exhale, tap down. Inhale, reach and rise. Exhale, twist around to your right. Inhale, reach and rise. And exhale, twist around to your left. Now this time, inhale, reach and rise. Exhale, when you twist around, anchor your left hand on the outside of your right thigh and then sit up tall on the inhale. Exhale, deepen your twist. Shoulders down, collarbones wide. See if you can pull your shoulder blades together in the back, down, and shoulder blades together like two elevator doors coming together back there. And then if you still have anything left and keep breathing, see if you can bring your chin around a little further, really stretch the neck. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale. Inhale, reach and rise to the center. And then exhale, float down to the left side. Anchor on the outside of that left thigh with your right arm if you can, and pull yourself around a little bit. Drop down the shoulders, pull the shoulder blades together in the back, widen the collarbones, take a deep breath in tall. Exhale, deepen your twist. Stay tall and strong through your core. Bring your chin around now, inhale. Exhale, chin comes around a little deeper. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise back up to the center, and exhale, bring your hands right to your heart. Lift up with your sternum or your heart to your thumbs. Let's pull the shoulders down, keep the elbows close into your sides. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Release the hands from one another and slide them out along your thighs to your knees. Seated cat cows. Inhale, rise up with your heart, Bend your elbows and pull your shoulders down. And then exhale, rock back and round your spine. Tuck your chin. Inhale, rise up with your heart. Lift your heart, lift your tailbone behind you. Maybe pull even further down with the shoulders. And then exhale, tuck and round. Tuck your chin right to your heart. Inhale, reach up, rise up with your heart. Lift your heart, shoulders down, lift your tailbone behind you. Exhale back. And you can lift your chin on those if you want to. 
Inhale, reach up, rise up, lift your chin too if you want to, but mostly your heart and your tailbone. Exhale, round. Now tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone round. Inhale, sit up tall, nice and tall. Keep pushing your feet into the ground. Squeeze your glutes and release. Squeeze your glutes and release. That's right, squeeze your butt. You push down to lift up, right? Push down to your feet, push down into your chair as you squeeze your butt and then release. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze as high as your heart as you can, shoulders down, and exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze your butt, lift, 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 and release. Exhale, squeeze, 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 keep breathing and tweet, keep squeeze, keep squeezing. <laughs> keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep breathing. I challenge you throughout your day to squeeze your butt like this, even if you're watching TV or driving, and release. Don't do it the whole time, but Bring in some glute muscles while you're sitting on them. Use them while you're sitting on them. Make them strong. Make them very, very strong so that we are also helping ourselves with fall prevention, proper walking, all the things. All right, sitting up nice and tall. We did our cat cows. So now what we're going to do is a reaching up of each arm and then we'll add a bend. But first, just reach straight up. So inhale, right arm up. Exhale, pull it down. Inhale, left arm up, reach. Now you can go further than that. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and pull it down. Good job. Inhale, reach up. Right arm, <laughs> sorry, exhale down. Inhale, reach up with that left arm. Keep going, keep going, keep breathing. <sighs> exhale it down. All right, reach up both arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull both arms down. Good. Keep your left hand on your thigh, take your right arm up. Inhale, exhale over to the side, reaching over to the left. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, bring the hand down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, lean gently over to your right. Inhale, exhale down. Thank you for forgiving me for not talking right. Inhale, rise up with your right arm. Exhale, lean over to the left. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, arm down. Inhale, rise up. Gentle bend over to the right. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring that arm down. All right, now this time, inhale, both arms up, reach up. Exhale, hold your arms, but don't hold your breath. Just breathe normal. Take your left hand, capture your right wrist. Take a deep breath in and lift as high as you can. Inhale, exhale, lean, lean, lean over to your left. Push your right and left heels down and then mostly push with your left heel down. And then feel your rib cage open more to the ceiling. So instead of your rib cage going to the floor, see if your rib cage, especially your right rib cage can spiral up to the ceiling. Lots of activation, keep breathing. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, capture your left wrist with your right hand. Inhale, one more time up. Exhale, take yourself over and lean to the right. And then on when you're leaning to the right, push down with both heels and then see if you can really push with your right heel. And then spiral your rib cage, your left rib cage open, maybe even towards the ceiling. Inhale, rise both arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart and just let yourself kind of roll around, move around after that. Feel free to use whatever your body wants. Your body will say, oh, I need to stretch this out right now. So listen to that. It's really important. Okay, so take the crown of your head, add a spoon, a ladle, a paintbrush, something, and, and either stir or paint circles. Paint circles up on the ceiling with the crown of your head, with your paintbrush, your finger, and reverse. You're using the crown of your head so that you're activating your core muscles. And notice your muscles, how they change as you lean over and you need balance. And that's beautiful. Your body's working here. This is amazing. And find yourself back up to a nice tall seat. And exhale. Whew. All right. So next we're going to do some pelvic floor circles. So just tuck your tailbone and then push it back. And from the side, it looks like this. We tuck the tailbone and then we stick the tailbone out. Tuck the tailbone and that's not easy because usually we're tight through that lumbar spine and that pelvic floor 
and then stick your tailbone out. Tuck your tailbone and then stick it out one more time. Tuck the tailbone. I know it's not easy. Stick it out, but together, together, together we can. All right, sit up straight and then stir the peanut butter. Now we'll do this again when we're standing, but we're just going to, so you're not drawing circles with your crown, you're drawing circles with your tailbone. And it's hard when you're seated, but it takes um, a lot of pressure and, and reverse, a lot of pressure, a lot of focus, a lot of tolerance, right? That's what yoga does for us. It builds tolerance and patience. Lift up tall, really tall again. Take a deep breath in and exhale, arms down to the sides. And then inhale, reach up, rise up with warrior one arms, reach and rise. Plug your shoulders back down, pinkies towards the center. And you've got like this ball of energy between your hands. Push down into your feet and your butt, lift and squeeze with your hands, but pull your shoulders down. Squeeze your butt, keep breathing, and then release hands to the heart. Give yourself a little grace, bow, take a drink if you need it. I'm going to take one right now. Working requires energy, requires water, and there's no shame in taking a drink when you're thirsty, right? And you don't have to drink the whole thing, just take a sip, just let your body have some water. Water helps with the muscle contractions. That's a conductor, right? Water is a conductor. Okay, sitting up nice and tall again. We're going to stretch through the wrists a few times and make sure that they're working properly. Keep them supple, keep them strong. And then let's take a few squeezes with the hands. You can kind of check out what you like, maybe fan the fingers apart and together use those hands. And I, I really encourage you to do this throughout the day. Um, it's important to keep our hands working, not only so that we can write and do things um, that are, you know, obvious, but also putting on your clothes, right? And opening doors and screwing off a jar top. I mean, um, if we don't have that strength and we lose that dexterity, then we, um, we aren't able to stay independent as long. So we want to stay strong and independent as long as we can. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is a, um, a little bit of sun salutation, modified sun salutations here as we face forward, and then we'll go to some warriors. So let's take a deep breath and reach up and rise up. Good. And exhale, arms down and around. Inhale, reach up, rise up. And exhale, fold your arms and take a forward fold that is supported for the first one. So you're just going to support, but you're not going to collapse, right? You're going to stay strong and long into your core and through your shoulder girdle. So collarbones are wide, shoulder blades are together. And whatever hand is in front supporting you, put the other one there for a moment. And so uh, hinging forward at the hips, putting a little bit of weight on those thighs, but mostly you're using your core and you're pulling your heart forward. Your chin has like an apple distance under it. I know you're probably trying to look up to watch, but once you have this, look back down and take the crown of your head away from your tailbone. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, rise back up to seated. Hands in the lap. Inhale, reach up, rise up with both arms. This time, exhale, forward fold, and you can support. Again, you can just support, or you can spread those arms like angel wings all the way down and let yourself hang. And if you want to take your feet further apart, that's fine too. The goal is not necessarily to touch the floor. The goal is to simply allow the weight of your upper body to hang forward and to let your neck completely relax. You try as best you can not to hold your head up here. Let your neck relax, let it down. Get ready to come back up. Inhale, root down to rise up, root down, push into your feet, push into your butt, lift those arms, reach the arms, exhale, hands come right into the heart. And we'll do that again. <sighs> Inhale, reach and rise. Exhale, float all the way down or support on your thighs to forward fold. Inhale, exhale, inhale, root to rise all the way up, 
and exhale, hands to the heart. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale, reach and rise. Maybe take a gentle back bend. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Big breath here. Let your neck relax. Exhale, blow it all out. Inhale, root to rise all the way up to the top. Exhale, hands to the heart. And now swing your right leg out to the right. And you're going to be on the corner, the corner edge of your chair. So the corner of your chair is jutting straight out from your pubic bone. You're facing diagonally to the corner. Your left leg is somewhere forward, facing front-ish. And then your right leg is facing over to the right-ish. So some of us will be closer together. Some of us will be further apart. If you want a little more heat, a little more challenge, you heel toe your feet a little wider, but be careful. And you might want to do that as you go. So you're pretty much towards the edge of your chair on the corner. And we'll take a deep breath in, rise up with those arms straight to the diagonal. Reach the arms up, plug the shoulders back in, warrior one arms. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take your left leg and extend it straight out and stay solid, flat-footed on the ground, flat-footed on that right side, stay bent on the right side, flat-footed out on that left side. If you need to adjust in any way, like if the chair's hurting, you need to kind of come out a little bit from the chair, please feel free to modify, scooch around, get to where it might not be comfortable, but the most comfortable you can be while you're working. All right, inhale, reach up, rise up. Warrior one to the diagonal. Exhale, warrior two over to the right. So look over your middle right finger if you can. Flare your knees away from one another a little bit if you can. And that mostly means that right leg is pulling away and you'll feel your butt muscles working. Arms are reaching, your fingers are spread a little bit. Energy coming out your fingertips, shoulders are dropped down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, flip your right palm. Exhale, drop your left hand behind. Inhale again. Exhale, take exalted warrior. Now you can just lift that left arm, or sorry, your right arm up, or you can lean back by using your left arm behind you, bending your elbow to allow for some space here. What we don't want to do is to scrunch into the shoulder. So keep the shoulder down, bend your elbow, bend your, bend your left elbow, and lift up and round back this way for your exalted warrior if you want to. Inhale, rise back up to warrior two, palms down. Look over your right middle finger. And then inhale, rise up. Take warrior one arm straight over to the diagonal and exhale, hands to the heart, to the diagonal. Inhale, reach up and rise up straight up to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, look over the right finger. Flip your right palm. Exhale, take reverse warrior, either by just lifting that right arm or by leaning back. Inhale, rise back up to warrior two, palms down. And this time, exhale and take side angle. So the left, sorry, the right arm will be over the right thigh. The left arm will be straight up. Keep pushing into the ground with your feet. And if it's possible, if you want a little bigger expression, bring that left arm up and over your ear and spiral your rib cage to the ceiling. I know it's a lot of work, but it's kind of fun, right? Try to not be so heavy on your thigh that your core is not working. Like you wanna use a little bit of core muscle here too. Inhale, rise back up to warrior two. And then exhale, sink the arms down. Take that right arm behind your back and see if you can find your left hand and interlace your fingers and see if you can twist your chest over to the right. Now, if, that, if all of that is not possible, just use your hands on your chair and just try to kind of twist your chest around to the right. So what we're going to do now is peaceful warrior. So palms behind you, heart is lifted. Keep your core really strong and tight. Lift your heart, deep breath in, humble warrior. I'm sorry, peaceful warrior but we're going to go to humble warrior. So if you are with your hands behind your back, here's where humble, stay there if you, if you want to watch first. Inhale, exhale, humble warrior. We hinge at the hip and we gently rest 
the uh, right shoulder on the right thigh. Now this is big and if your chair is not sturdy and it's moving all over the place, I just want you to lean, just lean a little bit. Keep the apple under your chin so you're humble. You're humbled here. Take a deep breath in, rise back up. Inhale, reach up, rise up to warrior one arms to the diagonal and then exhale, hands come to your heart. Beautiful. Release that and let's face front. And I just want you to wiggle around, take a few scoops with your chin. Maybe take a few figure eights, circle the shoulders, kind of loosen everything up. And we definitely feel different on one side than the other, right? That's a lot of work. So swing your left leg out to the corner, come onto the corner. You want to be very supported, but you want to have some uh, ability to move too. So you got to find that sweet spot on your chair. All right. And then heel toe the feet as wide as you feel like you can so that you can get a little more hip opening and work while still feeling like you're enjoying your practice. <laughs> All right. Reach up, rise up to warrior one arms to the diagonal. Plug in the shoulders. Keep the fingers spreading wide. Push into your butt. Push into the floor. Widen your knees. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, open up to warrior two, palms down, look over your left middle finger. Arms are straight out to the sides, as wide as you can get them. Nine o'clock and three o'clock, if you can get them exactly apart from one another. Take a deep breath in. Flip your left palm. Exhale, drop your right arm behind you. Inhale. Exhale, take reverse or exalted warrior by lifting up and or leaning back. Using that back right arm, bending the elbow. Continue to pull your knees apart. I felt mine just give away and I need to keep working them. Inhale, rise back up to warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, rise up to warrior one. And exhale, hands come to the heart. So you're at the diagonal here. Let's do that again. Inhale, rise up to warrior one. Both arms up at the diagonal. Shoulders plugged in. Inhale. Exhale, over to warrior two. Look over your left middle finger, pull your knees wider. Oh, that's a lot of work. Inhale, flip your left front palm. Exhale, lean back or just up, up and or back. Exalted warrior. Inhale, rise back up to warrior two. Now this time, exhale, taking that left arm across your right, uh, across your left thigh, lift your right arm up and take your side angle. And if you want to go deeper, you bring that arm up and over your ear and spiral your rib cage up to the ceiling. Widen your knees. Ooh, all the things. If your neck doesn't like looking out, look down. And then take a deep breath in. Rise back up to warrior two. Exhale, let the arms float down behind your back and turn your chest over to the left. Now, if it's available, interlace your fingers behind you. And that might be enough right there. That's a lot of work. And your chair might be in the way and all that. So just grab the back of your chair, bend your elbows if it's not possible. If you are interlacing your fingers, put your other thumb on top to give your brain a little work. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, widen the knees. Peaceful warrior. Inhale. Exhale to humble warrior. So maybe you're just leaning a little bit forward and maybe you're leaning as far forward as your body will allow, even resting your left shoulder on your left knee. Hands up behind, apple under the chin. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, reach those arms back up to warrior one and bring your hands right to your heart. Widen the knees, lift the heart to the thumbs, and let your hands rest on your thighs. Beautiful. All right, bring that leg around, swing yourself back into the center. We're gonna do some chair poses <laughs> in the chair. So these postures are just hovering over the chair. So again, if you're on the uh, petite side, and you're not able to hover, you've got to have something under your feet or you might try doing this over um, a lower surface. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you from the side, but stay to the front. 
or if you want to go to the corner, that's fine too. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a deep breath in, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands toward one another down to shoulder height. Plug in your shoulders, down and back. And then put your weight, shift your weight into your heels and hover over your chair. Take a deep breath, tuck your tailbone a little bit. And then exhale, hands to heart and sit back down. Inhale, reach and rise, arms up. Exhale, hands come to shoulder level. Inhale, and then exhale, hover over your chair. And then sit down, bring your hands to your heart one more time. Inhale, reach and rise. Exhale, hands come to shoulder height, plug them in. Inhale, and exhale, hover, keep breathing, inhale, Exhale, this time rise up and hold your hands at your heart, Tadasana. All right, so bring yourself to the back of your chair. Now I'm gonna turn my chair, keep yours where it is, but I'm going to turn mine just so you can see where I am. And we're going to take ourselves a feather touch on the back of your chair and walk yourself back from your chair about arm's width apart, right? So you're, you're not on your very fingertips, but you've got somewhere to go. You can actually wrap your fingers around. And then what I want you to do is make sure your feet are right below your hips, so your hip distance apart. And then we're just going to take ourselves and let your arms slide out in front as you send your hips back with bent knees. Just kind of play with this a little bit and then rise back up to standing so your hands will slide back up. So you're just feather touch, right? You're not pushing down into your chair. Inhale, exhale, slide the arms along as you send your hips back and squat down a little bit into a modified chair. And then bring yourself back up as you gently bring your hands back in. Okay, now, if you're feeling like you can do this, walk back just a little bit, and now it is your fingertips on the back of the chair, and we're going to take downward facing dog. So your knees are soft, they're, they're softly bent, and then keep your fingertips to the um, knuckles on the chair and lower down until your head is between your arms and your soft knees are there. And then if you want to try to straighten your knees but not lock, and then let your head fall heavy between your arms and your chest fall between your arms. And if your chair is not secure here, you need to find a heavier chair or maybe use a wall instead. But I want you to be safe, so be careful here. Soften your knees, round your back, and come all the way back up. And then step up to your chair as you get taller. Beautiful. So now that we've done that, we're gonna walk backwards into down dog and then walk back up as we round up, all right? So step back slowly, start to lower down until you feel yourself at the end. Lower down, down facing dog. And then inhale, round yourself up, walk yourself back in. Reach up tall, let go of the back of the chair, arms up. Exhale back to cactus. Now be careful here. So your arms are going to come to a 90 degree elbow. And if it feels right, lift your heart, take your elbows up and your hands back. But if you feel like you're gonna fall down, just keep one hand on the chair. Reach your arms back up. And then exhale, pull the arms down into cactus and see if you can just take a gentle back bend into cactus. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, hands come to the heart. Beautiful. And reach the arms down to your sides. And then walk back around to the front of your chair and have a seat. All right. So we're just going to take a couple of stretches here and then Shavasana. So let's take the left ankle across the right knee if that's possible. And I know for a lot of us that's not. So what I'd love for you to do is take the bottom of your left foot to the left ankle or to the left shin, uh, calf. Or if you do have that block, this is a nice alternative to put your foot on the block and oh wow, this opens up the hip. 
without coming all the way up here, right? And this block is on the tallest setting here. And you can do it on any of the three settings if you have a block. This is why I really love for my, my yoga students to invest in a set of blocks and a stretching strap and even a yoga mat if you like. All right, sitting up tall if you can. And you don't have to have those things. It's just nice if you do. Holding that stretch, releasing here, restoring that hip. <laughs> Taking a little break. And you're allowing for some stretch. And if you're clear up, or if you're even, you know, supported or just at the ankle or even on the floor, see if you can lean forward, finding space, opening that hip even more, seeing what you can do. And every day is different and both sides, you might have one side that kind of catches. I know I definitely do. One side's kind of sticky. So I have to really breathe and be patient with myself and try to let go. Like you, it, it's seriously a mind um, effort to let go of something that's, you know, catching there. So let's try to take a deep breath here. And exhale, try to release. And then come on up and set that foot back down and now we'll take the other side. So again, you can just go to the ankle, to the calf. If you're able, bring that right ankle clear up on that left knee above it and just be, just breathe. Or you might be on that, you might be on that block and widening that knee out, opening that knee, opening that hip joint. Inhale tall, exhale lean forward, and on this, whichever side was the hardest, we'll do it twice, how about that? We'll take that time. Take a deep breath in, and exhale, see if your mind can let go a little bit. See if it will release. It's holding back. See if you can talk it into letting go just a little bit. And then inhale, rise back up. And exhale, set that foot on the ground. And just kind of move around a little bit, wiggle. Maybe take your neck for a few rolls. And then again, we're going to do the side that's challenged twice. So. It's my, it's my right, but I'm facing you, so it'll look like my left. But whatever side was tightest for you, let's entertain that side again. And we're giving it love is what we're, we're trying to give it a little extra because muscle imbalances can really um, mess up our gait, our step, the way we walk, the way we move, the way we sit. So find that side that was a little more challenged. Deep breath in. Exhale, lean forward if you can, or just give it whatever little extra love you can give it. And then mindfully send your breath to that spot that's catching, that's sticky, that won't let you go further, and see if you can release. Deepen the breath. and release, beautiful. Okay, set that foot on the ground. So we'll find our Shavasana now. Sitting up tall first, reach and rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. Bring in a sense of wonder all throughout your body again. Let's bow our heads, chin down to the chest. Inhale, reach out to the, each side, and then I want you to bring yourself into a hug. So take your left arm over your right and round yourself into a hug. Mm. Inhale, reach out as wide as you can, send your heart forward, and then exhale, bring your right arm over the top, give yourself a hug, and if it's possible, round down. When you're ready, root down to rise back up. Reach out one more time. Spread those fingers. Bring your fists in. Wiggle around one more time. And take your final 
posture, your final position, your Shavasana. So some of us like to <laughs> really kick back. I don't like to put any rules on Shavasana other than total relaxation. And I'm just showing you from the side, but in my chair, I can like hook my head on the back and just let my hips uh, scooch forward. Maybe taking knees together, feet apart for fallen bridge. Maybe hands are on my belly or just hanging out to the sides. You just get comfy, whatever feels really comfy for you. And when you find that spot, focus on your breath again. And I invite you to that original mantra. I breathe in awe on the inhale. And on the exhale, I release what I do not need. And say that silently to yourself for a couple of inhales and exhales. And take the time you need to really feel supported. Rooting down onto whatever parts of you are touching the chair and the floor, maybe. And you're just sinking. Every breath, every exhale is an invitation to go deeper into your Shavasana. Mm. And as you're breathing there, soften between your eyebrows. And soften your jaw. Maybe even gently gliding your jaw, separating your teeth and gliding your jaw left and right, gently, side to side. I'm going to read something to you by Brianna Wiest, one of my favorite authors. She's a prolific writer who challenges us to really uh, not be so hard on ourselves, but understanding that the change happens within, and it's us <laughs> who have to make the change. So as you're breathing there in your Shavasana, and you're just melting away, feeling the sensations in your body, the magic of the yoga practice, I'll read this to you. Take what you can, leave the rest, see if it resonates with you like it does with me. Brianna Wiest writes, you have an opportunity right now not to necessarily become better, but maybe to become more settled, more whole. Maybe you're being given a chance to quiet everything around you so you can hear your own voice. Maybe you're being given a, ch given a chance to step into more of who you are meant to be, not less of who you are meant to be, more of who you are meant to be. Maybe what you're feeling is a massive collective reset, a chance to stop thinking about why you can't do this morning routine or why you can't journal the way you heard you're supposed to or why you can't read and encourage your way into a life that you never wanted in the first place. Right now, the question you have to be asking is what do I actually want to return to? Mm. Returning to that deep inner person, that beautiful, loving inner person before the pain, before the trauma, before all of the masks and the layers and the walls were built, that person way down deep inside. That's who you really are. That's who we need to return to. And you've got this deep inside, that sense of wonder, going back to the simple times, to being true to you, true to yourself. 
I breathe in wonder. I breathe in awe. I exhale that which I no longer need. Mm. Take a couple more deep breaths here as that lands. And as you're ready, take a deep breath in and let it go. And gently bring yourself back into a seated position where you can wiggle your fingers and toes and wrists and ankles. And then settle back into the hands at the heart closing down your eyes and bowing in reverie to yourself. And as you take your yoga off your chair, out of this space, into the world around you, I hope you continue to be in awe of yourself. Continue to let go of what you no longer need. And take with you a beautiful sense of wonder. And remember the beautiful human that you are. Namaste. Sending you love and I hope you have the rest of the best morning, afternoon, evening. Thank you.